friends in the previous video we talked about the basic functioning of the automatic transmission now onwards we will discuss about the each and every individual component how it works in an automatic transmission to start with this video i will be explaining about the functioning of the planetary gear system or the epicyclic gear system which are all the critical components how the planetary gear system is different from the conventional gear system friends in this video we will talk exclusively on the planetary gears because knowing about the planetary gears in detail is very important in understanding the working of the any automatic transmission learning about the planetary gear uh, system will not only help in about the uh, automatic transmission but also it helps in understanding about the final drives of a vehicle axles and final drive of a vehicle so in what way the planetary gear system is different from the conventional gear mechanism planetary gears also called as the epicyclic gears look at this picture how the planetary gear mechanism looks like that in conventional gears we can see one is the drive gear the second one is the driven gear there we'll get only two speeds if one is output the second one is the input okay the smaller gear is the input the bigger gear will be the output with lesser speed but more torque if the larger gear is the input the smaller gear will be output with more speed but with less torque whereas in this in this case the planetary system gives us the seven variable speeds remember each planetary gear set will give the seven variable speeds as per our requirement how we will be obtaining seven variable speeds i will explain you by its name the planet itself will give an indication about the planetary gears okay how the planetary gears works we will see okay three types of gears are there the center one is called the sun gear like the sun in the solar system these are the planetary pinions why these are named as planetary pinions the way planets in the universe rotates on their own axis also simultaneously rotating around the sun so these planetary pinions rotate on their own axis simultaneously rotating around the sun in a fixed path like the earth rotates on its own axis by simultaneously rotating around the sun in a fixed path this planet pinions also will rotate that's why these are called as planetary pinions all these three planetary pinions are connected to a single device called as the case the outer one is called the ring gear this is the ring gear this is having internal teeth whereas the other two gears are having external teeth whereas this is having the internal teeth so the job of this thing in addition to the varying the gear ratios this also gives a particular specific path to the planetary pinions okay the cross section will be look like this right we see the animation of a planetary gearing system looks like this the principle of the planetary gear is among these three elements that is sun planet and ring gear if we give the input to the any one of the unit and break i mean stall the second one the output will be from the third one here in this case let us assume the input is the sun gear ring is stalled that is break is applied the output will be through the planetary gear you observe it here the sun gear is rotating in the anti clockwise direction and the gears connected to the sun gear that is the planetary pinions are rotating naturally in opposite direction that is clockwise this is anti clockwise this is clockwise whereas the ultimate output whatever is coming through the planetary case is coming again through anti clockwise only in the sense the same direction of the input the same direction of the input in case of conventional gears if there are two gears the output the output gear rotation will be always opposite to the input gear rotation here the input and output through the planetary gears are in the same direction this is one observation you have to make 
You take the real picture or a photo of any planetary gear unit. This is the ring gear having internal teeth and these are the planetary pinions. This is the sun gear. This is the case, right? The number of planetary pinions may vary depending on the design of the gear box or gear set. In some system, it may be four gears, some it may be six, some gate may be only two gears. When you dismantle the planetary pinion from the case, it looks like this. This is the planetary pin, pinion pin, and these are the needle bearings. This is the planetary gear, this is the gear, and these are the thrust washers to protect these gears from the lateral movement. See, these are assembled like this, you can see these gears you can see here pin bearings and pinions so you have seen three components mainly sun gear planetary pinion connected to a gaze and the ring gear the principles already explained you principle of the planetary gear is if you give input to any one of these three elements and stall at the second one and the third one will be the output the first one second one third one may be anything and when you lock or when you stall any two of these gears in the system there will not be any change in the speed or change in the direction it will become a direct drive from input to the output so that is the principle of the planetary gear system now we will look into the features in detail how we will be obtaining seven variable speeds let us see this is a planetary gear set case number one i am explaining you this is a planetary gear set this is a ring gear planetary pinion sun gear okay this is the case let us assume number of teeth on the sun gear is 30 just at as assumption purpose a number of teeth of the ring gear is 60. Planetary all three pinions together, total number of teeth are 90. What happens in the case number one? This is the sun gear, this is the planetary gear and ring gear. Let us draw this line. Let us give input at sun gear. This blue line, we have given input at sun gear. Now we have to stall any one of this element. Which one we stall? Let us stall the ring gear. This is the brake symbol. We will stall the ring gear. What happens? Input at sun gear, stalling ring gear. What happens? This is the speed has come down from input when it comes to the output. The stall then the output will be naturally from the planetary case. What is the result here? First result is the speed is reduced. Second one is the direction of the rotation is same. Result is output speed is less than the input speed. because That means there is an increase in the torque. Direction of rotation is the same as input. The formula of the gear ratio is the number of teeth on the driven gear divided by the number of teeth on the drive gear. The driven gear is here, is planetary, that is 90 teeth. Drive gear is the sun gear. The ratio is 3 is to 1. This is the end result. Let us go to the case 2. Same, again you give the input to only to the sun. Yes. Now, instead of locking or stalling the ring, let us stall the planetary. Let us stall the planetary. So, input, stalling, the output will be naturally the leftover is the ring. What happens? Planetary, yes. What happened here? From input to the output via stall. So, what happened? First, this thing, the speed is reduced means again the torque is increased but what about the direction of rotation from here the direction of rotation is changed that is opposite opposite to the 
input device. Sun here also input, but stalling we have done to the planetary, the output is ring. The ratio will be 60 divided by 30. That is the output device is a planetary 60 teeth, sun is 20. Ratio is 20. The result is output speed here also less than input speed that is increasing the torque but the direction of rotation is opposite to the input. Hope you understand this. These are the two speeds we got. Now let us go to the again same sun, planet, ring. Now in the earlier two cases we have given the input to the sun there. Now let us give input to the planetary. Same amount of speed. See the arrows. We give input to the planetary. Which one we stall? Let us stall ring gear. We stall ring gear. Then let us look arrow. How the output will be? See the output where it has gone. So this shows when you give the input to the planet, stall the ring, the output speed is maximum increase in the output speed. That is maximum reduction in the torque, but maximum increase in the output speed. This is the maximum increase in the output speed. And direction, same direction. Same direction of input. What will be the ratio? So, ratio is the number of teeth on the sun gear the driven gear is 30 and here the input that is planetary is 90 the ratio will be 1 is to 3 1 is to 3 so that's why the torque is very less here output speed is much more than the input speed that is maximum increase maximum reduction in the torque and the direction of rotation is same this is case number 3. Case number 4, again we give input only to the planetary. Yes, same amount of input speed. Then instead of locking the ring, let us stall the sun gear. Right? Now let us see what happens. Yes, here also increase the output speed. In the earlier 3 cases, now is the 4th case. Even third case also, the output speed is very moderate increase, not like here. Here maximum increase. Here it is only moderate increase of the output speed compared to input speed, moderate reduction in the torque. Then what will be the ratio? Here again, 60 is the output divided by 90. Okay. The ratio will be 2 is to 3. Here 1 is to 3, here 2 is to 3. This is the fourth case the end result will be output speed is moderately okay higher than the input speed and there is a moderate reduction in the torque direction of rotation same as input case number five in the earlier four cases two times we have given the input to the sun and two times we have given to the input to the planetary now let us give input to the ring gear okay input to ring gear first class we will stall. Which one will stall now? Let us see. Yes, we will stall planetary and see what happens. My God. So, maximum increase of the output speed here also, but the direction of rotation is opposite to the input speed. This is the change. This is the change from the case number 3. Case number 3 also maximum increase but the direction of rotation is opposite to here. So what will be the ratio here? This is driven is the sun 30 divided by drive will be the ring 60 this is 1 is to 2. So what is the end result? Output speed is maximum increase than the input and maximum reduction of torque direction of rotation is opposite to input. What is case number 3? We will look into the case number 3. This is the case number 3. So again we have to give the input to the ring only. Okay, ring. 
then earlier we stalled p now we will stall the s yes, sun gear let us see what happened yes sun gear is stalled how the arrow comes down from input to output yes travels like this here the output speed will be moderately less than the input speed and the direction of rotation will be same as input output speed is moderately less than the input speed and moderate increase in the torque direction of rotation is same here the ratio will be 3 is to 1 these are the six cases what is the seventh case we'll see the seventh case will be locking any two of three planetary components causes to rotate the complete unit as a single unit if you stall any two of these three it will become a single unit that is direct to drive this is how the seven planetary variable this is how we will we will obtain the seven variable speeds from a planetary unit hope you understand clearly about the planetary unit the next video will the other components of the automatic transmission you can see this animation stationary input and output see the input is the sun and the ring is stationary this is output again input is the ring and the sun is stationary here like this you can see various animations you can see please go through these two pages notes if you have any queries or questions you can always contact me through the email